Summarizing your data can be key to get a quick understanding of your data. And Power Query can help you here by using the group by functionality. Now it's very easy to group your numbers and return a total, but the user interface does not allow you to group your text values. So if you would summarize a column and you would like to see what text values belong to it, the user interface does not help you in that way. And in this video, I'd like to show you an easy way in which you can summarize your column and return text values. So let's imagine that we're looking at the following table. I'm looking at a table in Power BI where we have some product sales that are sold by different people. Now in general, if you want to group these data, let's imagine you just want to see all the unique products that we have. You can click on group by, you're going to group it by product. And as a result of all these group products, we'd like to get the sum of the sales, which we'll call total sales. And easy enough, we'll have three unique rows and the total sales is the total sales of all the underlying rows beneath. Now, if you want the same thing and also see who the salespeople were in the previous step, you could definitely see those people. So it would be great that we could put those in a comma separate list, a comma separated list right next to it. So let's see what happens. So if you go to advanced, you can click another aggregation and in the operation list, one only finds numerical operations to do with the group the group rows. So you can find all your rows, sum, etc, etc. Now I'm going to show you a trick on how you can actually get those text values. So we're going to start out with a sum. And these are the sales, the, the sellers. And as a result, we'd like to get the sum of the seller column. As you might expect, we're getting an error here because we're trying to sum up text values here. We cannot apply the operator to types text and text. So up here in the formula bar, I'm going to just separate the arguments. And the specific argument we're looking at is the second one here. The second one here gives an error because it tries to sum up a text column. But what we can see is from the list that sum formula, you know that these list formulas always require you to put in a sum in there. So I'd like to replace this part of the formula with another one, which is text dot combine. And the text combine function, I can show it quickly. The text combine function includes the syntax that asks for a, a list as its first argument. So that's what we were just looking at at the column called seller. And as a second argument, we'd like to put something down that could separate this. So if I go back, I could click on the text combine formula. The first argument was already put in here. And as a second argument, I could write a comma and a space. And the result of this will be that all the names will have a comma and a space as a separator. And just like that, you can also separate your, uh, you can group your data basically by number, but also put the text values next to it. As a result though, note that the, that the gear icon has disappeared. If you ever have the need to get this one back, you could just change the formula back to what it was and write again, list sum and remove the second argument. And it will appear again, as you see here. But like I said before, if we want to group our text values, we have to use the function called text combine and optionally add a separator right next to it. Okay, so if you've watched the video up to this part, you probably found it interesting. I'm posting more videos on Power Query, DAX and Power BI all the time. And if you don't want to miss any of those, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.